Welcome. My name is Mark Weinzimmer, and this is an S Space Studio Guide Part 3. Today we will talk about dimension elements and hierarchies. So, first, let's discuss metadata navigator, and more specifically, what is metadata in S Space Studio? Well, metadata is data related to members, hierarchies, cube schemas, alias sets, and drill through reports. If we look closer, we could see the current members in our metadata navigator. And these were preloaded through our connection step. We've got our family in there, trans date, parent child for our measures accounts, scenario, population, a few product attribute dimensions, as well as region, state, and our sales amount. So what exactly are dimension elements? Well, the members that are created from data source columns. More importantly, they could be filtered, sorted, and have a functions applied to them. For example, if we create a new member and name it diet SKUs, we can create a caption binding to our product table and our SKU column, and then filter on our product table, but with our SKU alias column on diet, and then sort the results to create a new member. Once we have all the desired members, we'll be able to create hierarchies. And a hierarchy is just a logical aggregation of members. And down the road, they're combined to create the structure of an S-based database. So for example, our current hierarchies in the sample database are measures, periods, scenarios, products, and markets. If we look closer at our products hierarchy, you can see we could change the name or add a description. In addition, you could drag and drop members into the hierarchy uh, area below. We have family as our parent and SKU as a child. In addition, we have attribute hierarchies for diet drinks, ounces, package type, intro date, and caffeinated with SKU as a child rolling up to all of them. Once you're done, you could preview what you've done and see the finished result before you save it and continue.